Okay, so I've used a lot of cell phone camera lenses. This is the newest unboxing, the new one that I got. This is a 20x magnification. I had another one before that was kind of similar to this size, and it was horrible. So I'm hoping this one is not horrible. <laughs> with That should be a given with any product you buy, you hope it's not horrible, right? Cute little tripod there, fisheye lens. Ooh, it even came with a remote! Yay! Nice little baggy strap on for this guy. Okay, in case you guys didn't know this, watch this. You put the loop through there, and then you put the loop through here. And look at that. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's hot. I'm just being silly, sorry. Uh, what else we got in here? Dear customer, thanks, Aurori. Bluetooth instructions for iOS and Android. 20x telephoto lens manual guide. Here's some tips for better playing our product. Yes, English is not their first language. The bigger the lens magnification, the harder the lens stability. Using the tripod will be better solve this problem. This is a 20x magnification function lens, therefore it will be a little bit larger and heavier in order to achieve the long shot. Kindly read our manual before using will be useful for your following shooting. Please make sure to focus on target from at least 3 meters far away for better shooting experience. Better take off the thick case for better shooting experience, or the picture will come out with dark shadow due to the longer distance of exit pupil. If there is still any question you don't understand, we welcome you to contact our Amazon customer service for better solution. It's got a locking screw on it. Okay, that does make sense. Fix the clip and lens correctly, please kindly take the how to use the lens steps for reference. I love reading these things when it's in broken English, basically. Huh? Just a front and a back. Oh, there we go. The steps of using lens. Turn knob, make sure the metal circle stays stable. Tighten the lens and clip. Connecting the metal circle to the tripod in order to hold the lens steadily when shooting. Adjust the angle and then tighten the screw to fix the lens. What, honey? During the installation, please make sure the phone is placed between the two support rods of the tripod. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, have it supported by the tripod right here. That's a good idea. Are you looking at the stuff I got too, honey? I want, to, I want, to, I want to sit up here so I can see. Oh, sit up here? You mean you want me to hold you? Well, this is all stuff for my cell phone. It's uh, cell phone attachments for a 20x telephoto lens, as Can I was just I telling all the people of the internet. Have that? No, Daddy needs this. I'm trying to read it and learn about it too. All right. Well, I don't know. I've had very little luck with anything else this size ever before. This looks less complicated, and so far it looks sturdier than the last one that was similar to this that I got. Dada. So Can let's. I? No, you can't play with that. No, absolutely not. Thanks for asking. Dad. What is that? That is a remote shutter for my phone. Remember when we used to use the other one I had just like this? Oh! You remember that? Yeah, I remember, I remember playing with that yesterday. Yeah, and at, then... Uh, at the blue house. Yeah, it went through the wash and then it, it stopped working even after I soaked it or left it in a rice bowl for a while. Yep, doesn't always Daddy, fix it. I can't, I can't leave that when you're no. done. No, you can't read that when I'm done with that. Nope, thank you. So it's actually only two lenses. This, I believe, is the fisheye, and that's the 20... Are you making a 20... video? I am making a video, and you're talking a lot. So the 20X, and then 
Let's see what this one actually is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's see. I think that goes on there. Oh, you think it goes on there? No, it goes on there. Does this actually... Well, that's interesting, actually. Because this lens... Does it fit in here? Hop down, I gotta see if this will actually fit in here. Yeah. Does this... This is really interesting. It does. It actually fits in here. No, you can't hold me because I'm still trying to fit this in here. Yeah, can I? I'll wait for you. Okay? So that's kind of weird. Yeah, you go wait for me. Watch your show. That's why we turned it on so you could watch your show, right? You don't want to not watch your show, right? I do. You do. Well, that's kind of smart. It looks like it's got a dual two threads, so it'll thread there and on there. Well, no, there's no threads out here. But maybe it'll be a little bit more secure that way. So, that's the thing, like, some of these are plastic, this is not plastic, or this is a harder grade plastic, I guess. I've always worried about stripping the threads on these parts, but, 20X telephoto, man. So... I guess the real method would actually be do this first. Screw this in first, right? That would make the most sense for stability raisins. Okay, that's screwed on, and then tighten this. And I can rotate this. This has got to be loosened first, right? Here we go. These extend a little bit further. That's nice. Although the dangling might worry me now with putting a camera on there. And then I'm supposed to... Maybe I keep this down. Tighten this back up, actually. Oh! Pose. This would be the easiest method, I don't really know. Who reads instructions? I only read instructions for funny antics of uh, English not first language people. Especially when we buy all our stuff from another country. So that's just the way the world works now. So, see what the S8 looks like in there. This bad boy's cracked. Go figure. So, is that pretty easy to position and stuff? It's definitely not three meters away, is it? about that. As far as image wise, that's a pretty intense shallow depth of field. Oh, that's the funny part. It's not actually on the camera. <laughs> I'm so silly. Forgot where the camera was on this. I was used to using my Pixel for camera lately. Hey, back up, back up. Daddy, still work on this. Go watch your show, please. It's got a little kind of sticky thing in there for trying to help you mount it, I guess. All right, well, I guess this is literally gonna take a lot more work. I do like the smooth action on this telephoto, though. That's pretty smooth, I like that. That feels amazing compared to other ones I've used also. But yeah, I think things are just way too close right here to be getting 
There we go, there's a little bit of focus. Well, I might like this. This might actually be a nice telephoto to use for my mobile photography. Cool.